Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Kristen. Today's video is the Scorpio Full Moon Energy Report. And as you can see, I am still in a hotel. I have been here since the last full moon, so just about a month. And um, I am literally, literally living the energy shifts right now. So in the previous energy report where I talked about the May Ascension energy and talked about the major themes in that, I was living it and now I am living this energy as well. Um, Thank you to everybody who left a beautiful comment. Thank you for all of your love and support in my last few videos about what's been going on in my personal life. Everyone has been so supportive um, on this channel and so, so much gratitude and love for you and thank you for all of your prayers and for holding space for me while I move through this transition. Um, also, thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome. And um, let's get into the energy report. The major theme of this energy shift here at the Scorpio full moon is sexuality and specifically healing in sexuality. And this is a transformative energy because when you own your sexuality, whatever it is, because it is unique for everyone what their sexuality means for them. When you embody your own sexuality and release shame and guilt and sexual wounds from the past, it is incredibly healing, incredibly empowering, and will raise your vibration in ways that you just can't even imagine. It will literally open up a new life for you and for the possibilities and the relationships you have. And in my own personal life, um, this full moon has already brought up um, some of my own sexual healing and about owning my sexuality and about releasing judgments of uh, myself that I've had about having casual sex in the past. Um, so of course, you know that I made notes. Let me get them. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my computer. The Scorpio energy is also the most secretive and one of the most psychic energies in the Zodiac. So anything that has been hidden from you, even outside of sexuality, um, like something you've maybe not wanted to acknowledge for yourself, a lie you've been telling yourself. I was telling myself some awful lies um, in the last couple of weeks about how I had done something wrong or somehow I was to blame for what is happening and that is simply not true and that was a false perception that I was holding on to and the Scorpio full moon has already helped me dislodge that energy because I knew that was like a, a funhouse mirror that I was looking in. I knew it was a distortion but yet I was still feeling this way and I was also really going over relationships with men in my life um, especially intimate and sexual relationships relationships. I was thinking a lot about what I had done wrong and how I could have done things differently and where I was to blame. And those were all lies that I was telling myself as well. And those weren't allowing me to get to the deeper truth of my own sexuality and who I am as a person in the totality of myself. Um, so it can also be hidden truths or lies that other people are, are telling. So through this process of moving and going through everything I've been going through with the mold, I have felt like, whew, like some people were trying to gaslight me. I felt like there have been people in this experience who have tried to tell me the sky is not blue while we are literally looking at a blue sky. So for me, when someone lies to me in that way or is so incongruent with the energy, my body feels it viscerally and um, my empathic soul just does not like that and my body rejects that fully and completely. So I definitely have experienced that within the last week or so. But there also is this feeling with this Scorpio uh, full moon about 
the flower energy is that there are things blossoming behind the scenes. There are things growing. There are things percolating and marinating in your new life, in your real life. And I know for myself, and I've talked about this in other videos, where I can feel it, but I can't see it right now. And I really feel it here at the Scorpio full moon. I can really feel this new life where everything is totally different from what I'm experiencing right now. I can feel it in my heart and it feels so good, but I can't quite see what it is yet. So the clues of the Scorpio energy will come through the psychic gifts, through your intuition, through your uh, divine wisdom and your divine knowing and via your guides and your angels. So Scorpio is one of the most psychic energies as well. And Scorpios are sexual. So you see what I'm it's like how I'm trying to pull this all together of the sexual healing where our um our essences and our sexuality and our sacral chakra um is a source of creativity, of empowerment, of our mojo, and um, it also is a great place to access your intuition from the true um, essence of you, who you are. Um, and this is somewhat of like a taboo subject. I don't know if I've ever really talked about sex in this way um, on my channel. Um, and you can be a sexual being without having sex, right? And you can be a sexual being without selling sex. And you can be a sexual being and own your sexuality and have it literally be that light that people can see and feel around you that is a magnet to your energy. So, all right, so this energy is most powerful tonight and tomorrow. So that is Saturday night here in the United States and Sunday here in the United States. This energy will start to wane on Monday and Tuesday. So first things that I wrote, revelations, clarity, breakthroughs, hidden truths revealed, and any lies that you have been telling yourself or others that have been telling lies, those will all come to the surface and... Um, And so you can have a different perspective, right? So once you know the truth, then your perspective can change and change of perspective equals healing. So there's another part of this energy that is very detoxing. So part of those programs I was talking about with men wondering what I had done wrong, that was the ancestral uh, female lineage programming. The women in my family have lived in that disempowered uh, place of being subservient to a man or having a man be the one that quantitates your worth. And it took me some time to work through this energy of wondering what I have done wrong, wondering why you didn't like me, all of this kind of stuff. Um, it, it has shown me these patterns um, that have been active in my family lineage and very active in my grandmother's energy. And we have all of our grandmother's cells in our body. So the... Um, the, the deepness of the release of sexual shame and or feeling you've done something wrong sexually or just having that feeling that it's your fault, um, that is genetic and inherited. And as we wake up, and it's also in the, in the story of our life, but as we wake up, we can start to see how those programs have been playing out in our family and we can choose to do something different. So the other part of this energy is detoxing, releasing the past um, so that mutually um, reciprocal um, soulmate relationships can enter. So in my life, I have so many freaking lopsided relationships. And if you're a healer, you probably have a lot of lopsided relationships too. And it doesn't mean that um, you're a healer, you have to be a healer by profession like I am. So many people, teachers and um, so many people, you know, in their life are healers and the go-to person for um, the people in their life when they need counseling and when they need, um, when they need a shoulder. Um, so I am really looking forward to having relationships that are not so lopsided. And so for me, when I hear like releasing the past uh, relationships, detoxing them out in 
so that we can make room for the mutual healing and mutually reciprocal soulmate relationships. I'm like, yes, let's let all of this stuff go. Let's bring these new people in. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so along with um, this detoxing, and you know, I've actually been going to the infrared sauna to get all the mold out. So like I said, I'm living all these energy shifts like literally acutely and if you are living these energy shifts in your own circumstances please comment below and let me know um how these energies are playing out in your life because they play out totally unique right these are the themes of what's healing these are the themes of this uh energy shift the themes of this um blue moon um but how it affects you depends on your circumstances everybody is different um, so there is a lot of emotional, mental, and spiritual realignments happening. So the alignment that I held prior to leaving my apartment is not the same alignment that I'm holding now. And there is definitely something about why I'm in this area, because as soon as I moved to this particular part of town, my sacral chakra I mean, it was tingling and buzzing. I had sexual kundalini energy start to run through my sacral chakra the moment I got down here. And it has continued. Um, and there is something happening like with the ley lines because of this energy shift in the sexuality. It's like we ground in differently into new earth. So of course that would mean a new alignment in our mind, body, spirit, and heart. I hope this is making sense. Okay, when we embody the totality of our being, which includes our sexuality and our intuition, we, we line up and lock into new earth in a new way. Okay, thank you angels for letting me channel that. Okay, so what is out? This is what's gonna be releasing during this uh, lunar cycle, superficial dynamics. And I have just experienced this. I feel so uncomfortable if the connection is not real and deep. It's like, I just want to run. I cannot handle superficial and fake and phony at all. It goes back to like what I was saying when people like lie to me. I can feel it viscerally in my body and it like, it clenches up all my muscles and makes me feel so uncomfortable. So woohoo in favor of real chemistry and real deep soul connections. So relationships in your life that were based on superficial dynamics that didn't have loyalty or depth will either be leaving, rewiring, or completely dis completely disconnecting so that new can come in. Um, and along with that, we are allowed to reprogram our beliefs about relationships in our life, specifically the sexual ones. Okay, so in summary, this full moon is all about major soul growth, transformation, closing out the old, right? So the last energy shift, the Taurus new moon, was all about decluttering. Now it's gone, okay? And now it's completely old energy. And so putting it back on is going to feel like putting on an old dirty dress that doesn't fit, an old pair of pants that don't fit. And there might be some nostalgia in that dress or in those pants, but yet they don't match or belong in the new energy of what's being created. And so you are safe to love, bless, and release those relationships, that sexual shame. You're allowed and encouraged to own your sexuality in whatever that means to you. And if you are a member of the LBGT community, the LBGT plus community, this especially, especially is for you, this message. That who you are as a person, including your sexuality, has value. And that you are safe to express the totality of who you are. And it might feel super uncomfortable. The other part of this energy is when we are laid bare this way, when we have closed out the old, when we're living in a space of absolute trust and faith because we don't know what the new chapter looks like, we are ultimate vulnerability. And vulnerability um, can feel very uncomfortable. I know I am living in it right now. This is the most vulnerable I have ever been. And I feel super uncomfortable. 
but the vulnerability leads to a breakthrough. And we can't control how others react, respond, or if they stay or leave based on our vulnerability, but at least we know we have been authentic to ourselves. And when we are authentic to ourselves, the vibration will shift to a higher place. So I am sending you so, so, so much love. And if you want to book an appointment, all the information is below. I am still doing sessions. I have a little bit of a limited availability because I have a lot going on. Um, but if you are inquiring about a session, please do so. I would love to work with you. And thank you again for your support, for subscribing, liking, and commenting on my videos. I love you so, so, so much. Namaste.